Hi there. This is Rob McLean from LearnToCruiseOnline.ca. Welcome to Episode 8 in the Connected Boat series. This episode deals with radar on your tablet and PC. As we all know, radar is an acronym for Radio Detection and Ranging, which was developed operationally before and during the Second World War. Some people ask if we still need radar on a boat. I've inherited uh, two elderly radar systems in, in two of the boats that I've involved with, uh, but I've never used it in anger where radar uh, added a safety, a significant safety factor. Perhaps that's because I avoid overly hairy situations. With AIS and GPS, the argument can be made that there are a few circumstances where radar would be essential to safety. I traveled for the Pacific for a week in dense fog using GPS alone. At that time, there was no radar or AIS on the boat. I was sort of counting on the fact that it is a big ocean. On the other hand, rocks don't emit AIS signals and there's lots of vessels that don't have AIS. If I was entering an unknown harbor in bad conditions, it's certainly the case that radar would be nice to have if I didn't already have it. So, uh, so it's certainly something to consider. About 10 years ago, uh, I was aware that uh, a company called Cytex had introduced Radar PC. Uh, that was used an onboard Windows PC laptop to display the radar data instead of a, a display unit. Since it only worked with Windows, as a Mac user, that was a sufficient barrier that I wasn't all that interested. The product seems to have been downplayed in recent years, but still seems to be available under the Coden brand. As we've discussed earlier, many manufacturers offer the ability to overlay radar images on a chart plotter or other multifunction display. About a year ago, Furuno started promoting a product called First Watch Wireless Radar, which comes with a mobile device app rather than a display. The scanner unit has Wi-Fi built in. Not everyone is impressed with this design, but it does open up some interesting future potential. In parallel, just about all the major manufacturers have built Bluetooth and or Wi-Fi capabilities into their high-end multifunction displays and offer apps that enable data to be repeated to mobile devices. Some of the apps even have the ability to send control signals back. In parallel with this development of multifunction displays that integrate multiple data sources, manufacturers adapted their radar scanner units to communicate with the multifunction displays over an Ethernet connection. And this has opened the door for enterprising uh, developers who have uh, realized that they could reverse engineer the Ethernet data streams and they've created plugins that en enable overlaying radar data on an OpenCPN plotter display. As you may know, OpenCPN is an open source uh, chart plotter solution that can run on Windows, OS 10, and Linux. So what you see on the right hand side is, is a, a screenshot from one of the display, uh, one of the plugins, uh, this, this being one that's compatible with Garmin units. So this development of radar plugins for OpenCPN raises the intriguing possibility that if you don't already have radar capabilities, you, you could acquire them by buying a compatible Garmin or Navico unit, Navico markets under Simrad and Lawrence as well, a scanner unit, a standalone scanner unit, which seemed to be listed at something under 2000 US, and then install OpenCPN with the necessary plugins. And even if you already have one of these radar, a compatible radar with a multifunction display, there are ways to also display that radar data on your PC. 
So to learn more about this, head over to opencpn.org and uh, search for the radar plugin information. So in sum, we're seeing the emergence of solutions that put radar capabilities into a much more affordable price range for boaters. If I hadn't inherited an older radar system, I'd certainly be tempted by this solution and would seriously explore these options when it becomes time to upgrade. Thanks for listening. See you in Episode 9.